What up? We back with CT's RPT, Real Prison Talk with Wes. And today I want to talk a little bit about how easy it is to hold somebody in prison down. Now, it's definitely not as hard as some people might think or some people might make it seem. I know when I was in prison, I used to ask people to do certain things for me. And a lot of times when you're in prison, you ask for something to get done. A lot of times it might never get done, you know. And I always like I just I'm a forgiving person. So I always gave people a pass like, all right, well, he wasn't able to get to it or she wasn't able to get to it because I was always. I always kept in mind that people got lives, you know? So that's just the way I looked at it. I never really held any grudges or was upset with anybody for anything that they couldn't do for me. But the reason for this whole discussion is because uh, I was just on the phone right before I shot this video. I was on the phone with, with my brother, Bezel. He had called. I did an interview with Bezel. I have a show with him when he called the show. And he had said something to me that like, was like my epiphany, my aha moment. You know what I mean? He said, um, he said, Wes, a lot, of, a lot of the things that I be asking you to do, you take care of it like that, like. By the end of the phone call, you like, yeah, I, I took care of it already. And it be small shit like, yo, could you shoot a text to somebody for me? Could you call somebody for me? Yo, could you tell so-and-so send me some pictures? Could you send me some pictures? And these was things that he said before, before I came home. He like, this is him speaking. Well, it's before you came home. I would like ask my peoples to do these things for me and they will always be like, all right, I got you. And then they'd make it seem like as soon as I get off the phone with you, I'll take care of it. So I'd get off the phone with them and then I'd call them back. Maybe a month later, a week later, whenever the next time I call them back. And it's like, yo, did you get a chance to do what I asked you to do? And they're like, oh, man, I forgot. And what he was saying, he said, Wes, you actually showed me how simple and how easy a lot of the stuff that dudes in jail be needing really be to somebody in the world because he be asking me and I'm like, all right, I got you. Not knowing I'm taking care of it right then and there. Maybe it's the fact because I have two phones. So what I'll do is I'll use my other phone while I'm on the phone with him. If he want me to shoot somebody a text or whatever it is, I'll grab my other phone. I'll take care of that right, right while I'm on the call with him. Matter of fact, now that I think about it, I know it's I'm kind of still getting used to the technology. I've been away for a while, but... Especially this this iPhone shit. This iPhone 11 is like a, a computer. But now that I think about it, I can't even give dudes that excuse. Because you can be on the phone with somebody and still shoot texts and, and handle other. You can multitask with these phones. It ain't like I'm thinking for some strange reason. I'm thinking that while I'm on the phone, I can't do nothing but talk to this person on this phone call. Forgetting that. I can be on the phone, shooting texts, sending uh, pictures, all that. I can do that off this phone. So I take that back because um, I can't give dudes that ex that excuse that I have two phones. But that's just the way the way I handle it. While he asking me, for, while I'm on the phone with him, I'm using my other phone to take care of whatever it is. Like, he want me to shoot a text to somebody? Text is shot. So by the time the end of the phone call comes, this is the part that blew his mind. 
By the time the end of the phone call comes, he like, Wes, don't forget to text so-and-so. Or don't forget to send me them pictures. Whatever it was. I'm like, bro, I already did that. And after like the second or third time, because this is today is probably like the third time he asked me for a favor. And by the end of the phone call, he called himself, reminded me to do it. And I was like, bro, I already took care of that. It hit him like, damn, Wes. This shit, you make this shit look so simple. And, and my own family and my own friends that i known all my life, they make it seem like it's so difficult. And I'm like, what? He like, Lord, should I be asking you to do that? I should be done by the end of the phone call. I'm like, bro, it ain't nothing but punching a few buttons on the phone. Simple as that. So, in order to help people out here on this side of the wall, help people in there on the other side of the wall, I just want to break down a few things and show y'all how simple this shit could be. So, let's say somebody asks, in jail, we don't want much. Maybe some pictures, a letter, maybe... Just anything to let people know. If you can find a way to let us know that we are loved, that's what we need the most, you know? And you ain't always got to say that. It's not, it's not always about you saying, Wes, you are loved. It's about your actions. When I go, when they call mail, and I got an aunt that when I was in prison, my the whole bid, my aunt, my Aunt Georgette wrote me every week, never missed a week. If anything, sometimes she doubled up. I'd get a letter on Monday, and then by the end of the week on Friday, I'd get another letter from her. Every time they did mail call, I knew every week I was getting something from her. That really helped more than she even will ever even know that helped. Something as small as a letter. Just writing a letter and sending sending a letter to somebody. Put a smile on our face. And then, not only for that day, a lot of times you can go back and read the letters that your loved ones wrote you. And it'll make you feel happy all over again. Now, to people out here, I know people don't write letters no more. So, it might be a hassle to... Write the letter, then you got to go to the store, get the envelope and the stamp, get it stamped. Then you got to go to find your mailbox. I haven't even, I've yet to see a mailbox. I don't, granted, I don't really go, I don't go out every day. I go to, I got a church pass, I go to church. And I got a work pass to go to and from work. Or you get three hours when you first get here, you get three hours to go look for work. But throughout none of them passes... Can I recall seeing a mailbox? So I know I sent something to my to, to Earl, my, my bunkie that had called the show, the dude that got 46 years. I sent something to him. I went all the way to the post office and sent it. So I know that that can be the barrier, which would be the reason why somebody might say, man, you might get a letter from me, but I'm not going to be doing this. Every week, every day, the way that a person in jail would like to receive mail. So I'm sitting in, I'm sitting in, I was about to call this my cell. I'm sitting in my room one day and I'm scratching my head because I'm like, it's the dead winter. Dead winter. We're not allowed to operate motor vehicles. So I'm like, dang, I know how dudes feel when they get mail in jail because I was one of them dudes. And I got a lot of dudes in there that's doing life. I got a lot of good brothers in there that that even that that's if they not doing life, I got a lot of good brothers in there that I know would like to receive mail, pictures, know how I'm doing. In all actuality, even if I send them a letter telling them about how my life is going and how everything's going for me, it's letting them know that I care about them. For somebody to sit down and take time out of their day. To write down their thoughts to you, that lets them know that it lets me know that you care about me. And you take time, if it's five minutes, ten minutes, it's 24 hours in a day. If 
If it take you five minutes to sit, 10 minutes to sit down and write me a letter, I appreciate that because now I'm like, well, that person was thinking about me enough to do that for me. So knowing that, back to making this easy for us now, because I just figured this out and, and, and I was like, oh, that's dope. Knowing that that's the barrier, a dude having to go get the mail, go get the stamp. This is still little shit, but okay, to people in the world that, that used to having everything easy for them, this might not be that, that easy. I got to go find a mailbox. So I found the app called M Sent. M for mail, mail sent. I downloaded this app and I just test tried t- test trialed it. Gave it a little test drive to see if it works. The the app allows you to text whatever letter you want to text. So you don't need no pen, you don't need no paper, you don't need nothing but a phone. You text your letter up. You also it also allows you to attach up to five pictures. So after you finish writing your letter, it's going to ask you, do you want to attach pictures? I sent the letter. I sent five pictures all from this room in this halfway house. It don't really get that. It don't get too much easier than that. So that killed the excuse of I have to go find an envelope and a stamp and a mailbox and a, or a post office. That killed all of that. I laid on my back in my bed here and sent. Now I send my letters straight from my bed. M sent. Download the app. You go to your app store, download M sent. It's one of the easiest apps you'll ever download. And it makes life a lot easier for for you and for your loved ones in jail, you know. That way they can get their mail. Now, if you don't want to send a letter, maybe you don't have nothing to say. Let me see if I can show you guys what it looks like. I don't know if you guys can see this. But see that little blue one right here by my finger, right under my youngest daughter picture, my little nerd daughter with the glasses on, that little blue symbol. That's what the app looks like. It's called M Sent. And I think it may cost you about five bucks. And a lot of people might gripe about that. Oh, five bucks, but five bucks saves you a trip of having to go to the post office or to the store or whatever else you have to do. You do all of that. You're paying for the luxury of sending this mail to somebody from your bed, you know? Now, if you don't want to, if you don't have nothing to say, you just want to send pictures, then there's another app for that. You no longer have to take the pictures and go to Walmart and get them printed out and then Get the envelope and send them. You no longer have to do all of that. Which app do I have for that? See this little butterfly? That's called Free Prints. Free Prints app is just like the MSN app, but it's just with the pictures. Do pull up whatever pictures out of your phone you want to send a person. You put in their name, their info, and their address. You pay for your pictures. I think you only pay shipping and handling. And boom, once a month you get free pictures that you can send. All you have to pay is shipping and handling. Um, That's pretty simple, you know. Little, little things like that, you will be surprised, like, that and I'm I'm not even gonna get into like the telephone, like just having a, an account, a securest account, so that we can call. That that will come after you send the letter, you send the pictures, and you see how easy it is. You get into the flow of things. You guys, he'll write you back. You guys get into the the method of writing back and forth, and then of course he's gonna want to talk to you on the phone. Then you can move into setting up the Securus account. 
you would be surprised how you can make someone's day. Like, if these are your loved ones, this is someone you care about, then the little things that you got to do to make this person happy or to make their time as pleasant as it can be is nothing, you know? These little things are nothing. Like, like I said, he was amazed that half of the stuff he asked me to do was done by the end of our 15-minute phone call. I had already done it. It took me two, three minutes, tops. He get pictures, letters, shoot texts to anybody else. I guess the, the main thing is to just take care. Don't put it off. You know, a lot of people say, all right, when we get off the phone, I'll, I'll text that person for you. I'll call that person for you. Don't put it off. Just take care of it, you know. That way you won't forget. Because I know people have lives, you know. And when you say, like, oh, I'm going to call you later, maybe... You had all the best intentions to do that. But when I hang up the phone with you and my two-year-old son or daughter comes and spills all the grape juice all over the floor, by the time I finish cleaning that up, I forgot, you know. For somebody in the street, we have life happens, you know. So that's why I'm not really, I never, that's one of the reasons why I never really got mad at somebody because they didn't or couldn't do something that I asked them to do. Because that's just how I looked at it. Like, well, people got lives, you know. So my my advice to you as people on the outside that claim we love these people, these are our loved ones in there, just get it done. Just take care of it right then and there. And you can use the two little apps, the two little apps that I showed you today to take care of it in a snap and it be done. And that's just about it, you know. I got a whole nother, like, as far as females holding a man down, that would be a whole nother show, you know. Because there's different classifications, but we're going to do that on a whole nother show. But that's just the basics of how to hold a brother down in jail, make his time as pleasant as it, you can possibly make it. And even put a smile on his face, which goes a long way in a place like that. So if you haven't by now, hit the subscribe button, you know, show me some love. And if you want to follow me on Instagram, I'm at wes.smith.129. That's wes.smith.129. Wes and if you have any questions to ask me, you can hit me up on my Instagram. If you got anybody that you know that want to be on the show, you got any loved ones that's in prison and, and they got a story to tell, you can hit me up on Instagram. You can hit me up on Facebook. I'm Wes Smith on Facebook. Wes without the T. And until next time, peace.